So uh, let's continue on here. Express each as a single trig function of a real number and give the exact value if possible. Now, this one actually is going to work out a lot easier uh, than the previous one because a lot of the work has actually already been kind of done for us. So let's look at this right here. In the first case, we have cos 2 pi by 3, cos pi by 6, plus sine 2 pi by 3, sine pi by 6. So we go back in time and we look up at the formulas on our formula sheet and we notice that this is just the cosine difference. So it's going to give me cos of 2 pi by 3 all minus pi by 6, which ends up equaling cos of pi by 2 which would equal zero. Now again, if you guys want, you can convert this to degrees and then handle it. There is nothing wrong with that. Uh, I'm just gonna keep on trucking though because I don't wanna take up too, too much of your time with this lesson. Uh, looking at this one right here, we just notice it's the sine difference. So it's just gonna equal the sine of pi by three minus pi by six which just ends up equaling sine of pi by six. And then jumping onto our unit circle, that gives us one over two. The next one, we again notice that this is the tan difference. So I go tan of 15 pi by eight minus three pi by eight, which will give me the tan of 12 pi by 8, which reduces to the tan of 3 pi by 2. And we notice that that one on our unit circle is just simply undefined. Now, this